Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Caleb. I know the last time that I posted on this channel, I had a BMW, and that was like a year and a half ago. Um, I'm pretty upset with how I treated that build because it was my first ever like real build. So I kind of jumped the gun on everything. I didn't film. And honestly, just long story short, I really regret it. So I told myself if I got a new car anytime soon, that I was gonna make sure to document every part of the build, make sure I do it the way I was supposed to. Um, so now we got a new car and I can finally do that. Um, I went with something a little bit different. I'm really glad I went with this. Uh, I switched teams on us, on the whole BMW family, but you know, I had to do what I had to do, right? So this is a new car, man. So we went with the 2017 S3 in small orange. I wanted a little bit different color, something that's like not too normal, you know? I had a silver before, it was cool, but uh, I wanted something that, like from the factory that was kind of crazy. Uh, because I am gonna wrap the car, but I did want to go with something crazy for a little while just so I had that option, you know, so I could wrap it to, or I could start off with something a little bit crazy. Um, I love this car so much, man. Like, I was really shocked by how much I love the car. The interior is great. As you can see, this is the inside. Um, I really love the flat bottom steering wheel. That's probably like the best part of it. And I have a digital dash in here, so that's another plus on it. Um, we got the S on the seats as well. Um, but yeah, so long story short, I just uh, wanted to try something new. So we switched over to Audi. Um, I can't complain, honestly. It's not as quick as the uh, 235 was, but you know, after a little bit of tuning, some mods, which of course we're gonna do, uh, we'll change it up, make it real quick. All right, so first order of business. I feel like everyone does this first. Maybe it's just me, but I always got to throw on the carbon lip. Um, it's just, I love carbon fiber. You're going to see a lot of carbon fiber on this car. I plan on going carbon fenders, carbon hood, the whole nine yards. So first, uh, we got to take off the stock one. As you can see, it's pretty small. It's like, it's pretty whack paint matched. Not my thing. Definitely like, uh, like an old school, you know, the old heads would love it, but you know, not for me, not for me. So we're going to take this off first. And then I'll show you guys the new spoiler that we did get for the car. All right, guys. So this is a spoiler we went with. It's a PSM style. Um, I love PSM style on BMWs, and I figured I'd kind of stick to my BMW roots a little bit. Um, I did buy this one on eBay, and this is probably the only part that I will buy on eBay. Uh, just because spoilers, they, they're super cheap, and I don't see any reason spending $300 on a spoiler. When you get the same quality from eBay, and the last one that I got for my bmw was actually from ebay and it lasted perfect throughout the, the weather it gets really hot here in the desert in california um so i couldn't complain so we're gonna throw this on it's gonna look fire can't wait all right so the first step is having to take off the original spoiler uh, i'm gonna take it off with the heat gun so what i'll do is i'm just gonna warm up the adhesive that's underneath um and then once i get it warm i'm gonna peel it up and i'm gonna peel it up with this cloth uh, a lot of people say to use fishing line, but I just really don't want to scratch the original part just in case, you know, I ever want to go back or if I ever sell the car. I have everything OEM and it's all in good condition. So I'll start by doing that and then uh, we'll go throw on the new one. All right, guys, so what I ended up doing was I heated it up enough so that I can get a pick tool underneath with this cloth. And now you can see I kind of like lifted it up and now I can just start slowly heating it and going all the way across. All right, so I got the spoiler off now. It took me a little while to get all the adhesive off. Um, I had to put on some adhesive spray, you know, the whole thing and just slowly scrape it off. Um, but I got it off finally and now we're gonna throw on the carbon spoiler. All right, so this is how I placed the tape so that when I lift this up, it already has that little positioning so that when I take all this tape off and flip it over, it'll fall right into place. All right, y'all. So I finally put on the part and now it's time for the reveal. I really love it, man. I think you guys are going to like it too, man. Take a look. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, man. I really look forward to making more content on this car and I hope you guys tune into all the videos as well. Um, I really do plan on doing kind of like daily vlogs with everyone, like all my car friends, you know, we have a couple scads, uh, actually we have more than a couple scads, we probably have three or four scads that'll come onto the channel, we're gonna pop out, 
uh, go out some nice little runs in Mexico. You guys already know what it is. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys tune to the next one. Uh, so far, I'm loving the spoiler. I'm loving this car. Uh, you guys already know we're gonna get some wheels for it. Don't worry. Don't even trip. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. I appreciate y'all, man. Later.